Hello everyone, Tim Brown, welcome back to my Apple Podcast. For those of you who like to sketch on your iPad, you will be happy to learn that Taiyasui Sketches Pro just released the ability to record your iOS screen right inside the app. This is a pretty nice feature to have, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, when you open a new document, you will see in the bottom right corner a video icon. You just tap on that and you can begin recording your screen. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it right now because I'm actually using the video in video out feature to actually record this episode what so what I'm going to do is stop at this point and then actually repeat or follow up with an actual recording created with Taiyasui sketches including my continued narration so hold on for one second okay I'm back you can see the video recording in the bottom right corner and I'm gonna go ahead and use the special effects tool to bring in a photo from my library because uh, that's one of my best features in Taiyasui sketches. And I'm going to go ahead and stretch this photo out to cover my canvas. And I'm going to then afterwards choose a, a brush of my choice. I particularly like this one because the, the gestures are long and uh, gestural. And I really like the effect that you get with this one. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm actually recording my screen right inside Taiyasui sketches. And I usually try to get as much covered as possible with the effect. And then in some cases, you know, afterwards when I'm done, I'll go back and maybe pull some things out uh, with the eraser tool to try and bring back some details. Uh, in this case, since I'm using this very attractive model Isabelle Fontana for this collage, I obviously would like you to see a little bit of her and, and including some of the birds. So I just went in and did that. Uh, but yeah, I just captured the whole thing on screen using Taiyasui sketches. It's a nice feature to have. This version just came out, so I encourage you to download it. It's pretty cool. However, there is one thing I did notice. This feature is not available for the iPhone. At least, I could not locate it or find a video recording icon anywhere on the iPhone. So I'm assuming that this feature is not yet available for the iPhone. If you happen to find it, let me know, but I could not identify it. But this is a nice feature. Check it out. At least for the iPad, it's pretty cool. All right, see you.